Hey everyone, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. I'm here today to talk to you about a wine I found at H-E-B and I'm actually really excited to try it. Um, I was walking through the store the other day and I noticed that in the clearance section at my local H-E-B, uh, there was a white wine that was said to be infused with green tea and natural peach flavors. I looked at it, $7 I put it in the cart. I decided, let's take a chance on it. Let's see what, let's see what happens with it. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you what it is. It is steeped white wine, like I said, infused with green tea, natural peach flavors. Uh, it's 10% alcohol by volume. Uh, it's a mix between a Sauvignon Blanc, a Chardonnay, and a Voignier. Um, the grapes are from California. And it, like I said, it cost me $7 on clearance. Um, the price before it was marked down it was somewhere around, I want to say it was like $9. So if you're at your local store and you see it around the same price, that's good. If you see it for seven, I guess you'll know in a second if you should kind of get it before it runs out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. This is a total plus. Uh, I love screw top bottles. Screw top bottles are my new favorite thing because I don't have to have any other equipment other than these monos. So I'm gonna do pour a little sample. That's interesting. So it, Definitely has a little bit of a green note to it. Uh, pale yellow. Uh, and it's just a really interesting coloration. It, it almost looks like a white wine blend, but it's it's so just a little hint of green. I'm gonna do a little bit of nose here. Oh, that's peach. Oh, no, there's there's not with natural peach. It's We're going to squeeze a damn peach into this bottle of wine before we bottle it. That's like all peach. There's a little bit of green tea, like a little bit. I, I mean, I would actually be, I would probably say this was probably, just from the smell, it's going to be more of a peach wine to it. Like almost like a peach wine, not a wine with peach, just a peach wine. I, I'm honestly a little now. Now I'm a little bit nervous. I'm honestly a little scared to try it because I'm worried that now it's gonna have too much peach, and it's and none of nothing because I can't smell anything else. It's only peach. It's only peach with like a tiny bit of green tea at the very end of it. So, there's a lot of that. This is, it's like, um, so, okay, take a step back. There is, um, there's a lot of peach flavor. It's all peach flavor, except for in the finish. The finish is like this short, almost wants to be a medium long finish, or a medium finish. And um, that's when you get the green tea. You don't really get the green tea on anything else. Uh, it doesn't come up front. It's, it's pretty much just peach, 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 a little bit of green tea, and then it's gone. Um, what, <laughs> it's really almost like, it almost makes my palate like a little sticky, like it's that kind of sweet. So, so here's the deal with this one. So... If you like sweet wines, this this will be a good wine for you. It's it's it, I would I wouldn't say it's sweet. It's, I would say it's semi sweet. Um, if you like peach, this is definitely a wine you need to get. If you like green tea, you'll be a little bit disappointed until the finish. Um, ah, do another taste. It's ooh ooh. Moving it around in the mouth doesn't make it better. Um, it's like, okay. So, initial reaction, initial rating from Wine on the Dime is a never again. Um, however, in this case, I came prepared. So, normally when I um, drink white wine, 
I like to pair it with something. And in this situation, I have sushi. So I have my giraffe sushi sticks, chopsticks. Um, and a nice thing of sushi from my local H-E-B. Now I am going to see if white wine will work with this. Normally it does, um, but we'll find out here in a second. Oh God, that's not good. Um, oh, that was a bad move. And we got something that had avocado in it. Maybe you see if we go with like the peach or the, I'm just gonna set that aside. Okay, so. Um, wine on the dime verdict for this one is a never again. I just, it, it, it just has such, I mean, if it would be, if a little bit of the peach was in there, if it was noticeable, but not so powerful, that would be good. If it was a little bit drier for me, instead of going into semi-sweet, just, just try to, it could be a little bit sweet. That's fine. Just try, pull it into the dry. Um, it's, it, and I can't eat it with sushi. Uh, I can't pair it with sushi. I just can't do it. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to rate this one never again. I was really looking forward to it. Um, they have a red blend um, that uses red tea. So there might be an opportunity there. However, the white wine is not going to work out for me. So uh, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime signing off. See you all later.